weekend, people from all over headed to Boone Hall Plantation for the 27th Low Country Oyster Festival. And now we're joined by the winner of this year's recipe contest, Billy Condon, along with the president of the Greater Charleston Restaurant Association, Mike Sabo. And Mike, real quickly, I have to apologize to the parking folks out there. They did a fantastic job. Everything went very smoothly. We knew there were going to be big lines. Well, Dave, you brought that nasty weather in the day before. Yeah. You know, but it was most popular, I think, the most successful year we've ever had. It was fantastic out there. So yeah. we had all kinds of things going on. We had the shucking contest. Uh, who ended up winning that? Do we uh, know? Well, there was a guy you know, and a girl series, so they had a male and a female winner. The, the females actually doubled the number of oysters from the males. Really? Yeah. I didn't so, realize that. Oh, almost doubled. It's amazing. And as you were saying just a few minutes ago, it, it was wall-to-wall -wall people. Yeah. I mean, uh, again, we, we haven't gotten quite our, our final numbers in, but it's, it's going to be a record year. And who were some of the charities that you helped out with this? We do the Ron, uh, Ronald McDonald House, the Hollings Cancer Society, uh, Center, rather, and we do the uh, Charleston County Schools. See, and that's the great thing about it. I yeah. mean, we were all out there having fun, and yeah. it was for a purpose. And, Billy, you made a fantastic recipe that I saw on Friday that ended up being the winner. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you made here. All right. Um, I'm the executive chef at Atlantic Bill Restaurant on Sullivan's Island. And, uh, and this is the winner right here. It is, and I was going to prepare it for you all. It's a uh, smoked tomato, pecan fried oysters with smoked tomato fondue. Now, is this something that people can make at home? Is it pretty simple? It is actually fairly simple. Um, the final plating of it may appear to be complex, but um, it's Just something take it that step I... step by step, huh? Yeah, I have a, a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. uh, some country ham that's julienne. Mm. I'm just going to render that a little bit with some shallot. Now, how'd you come up with the uh, inspiration for this dish? Um, I actually live in Somerville, and I have uh, quite a commute to Sullivan's Island, so on my drive in, I'm usually thinking about what I need That's to great. use that during the day. See, I do things like that while I'm running. I think about what I need to do for the next day. You think about the next great recipe to make. Right. That's awesome. I'm going to just let this go for about a minute. The right. shallots there? Yes, sir. Nice. And then uh, we'll add uh, some clam juice that has uh, oyster liquor in it as well. And the oysters that I use for it are uh, from May River, which is um, outside of Buford in Bluffton. Making me hungry, huh? I know, that is smelling <laughs> good. So hopefully this we'll get... This is a uh, lemon orzo pasta. I buy it from uh, Chieftain Wild okay. Rice out of Minnesota. Yeah, at first I thought it was rice. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of uh, low country dishes use uh, rice. And I want to do something a little different, but I wanted to stay true to low country cuisine being now, from Charleston. Have you entered the contest before? I did last year, and we actually used the oysters that we prepare for the last eight or nine years of the restaurant. But oh wow, uh, to no success. Which uh, <laughs> that got your gears going to yeah, figure out something else. We came up with this. Or, right. That looks really good. Now tell us a little bit about Atlantic Bill. Um, Atlantic Bill is an American eclectic style restaurant. Um, I was born and raised in Charleston, and uh, we also, uh, I have kind of a southern twist to everything with a little bit of Asian influence. Um, nice. We do Thai Tuesday on Tuesdays where we prepare a Thai oh. menu. We've been doing that since September of 97. Nice. So a little something different, and it's kind of a local's place. Oh, yes, it is. Very much so, especially uh, with the uh, residents of the island. Exactly. Now, should we have some reservations if we're going to come out there and try this on Friday? Uh, yes, I would definitely uh, suggest that. <laughs> on the weekends, for sure. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be on the menu, right? Um, we're actually getting ready to do oh, a menu please, change, but we please. are running it as a special right now. <laughs> Good. For, Good. Awesome. For during the week. So we're just about finished up here. We're running yeah. out of time. Okay. And, um, I simply want to fry the pecan fried oyster. And that's quick. Yes. Just, uh, I like them still to be somewhat soft in the middle. All right, well. And then I have a crispy fried collard greens to go on top. Perfect. All right, All right. well, while you're wrapping plating. that up, uh, Mike, next year, all set, same date? Same, same date. Uh, we'll release that probably the next uh, week or so. We've got to check the weather. Yeah, I'll give you the year ahead forecast, we, no problem. We, <laughs> we always try to keep it about the same time every year. Yep. Um, and it is a rain or shine event. You know, and I think with the rain and... And again, because it's such a successful event, we do. We always have traffic problems. We try to mitigate it as much as we can. Oh, it wasn't a problem at all because everybody knows in carpool and things like yeah. that. Exactly. Oh. And, uh, but very, very Perfect. good.
Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having us on, and thanks for Billy. Yeah, you. thanks, Billy. Pleasure. I'm going to do some eating here in a moment. All right. You'll have to stay around for that. Well, stay tuned. We'll have much more on Low Country Live right after the break. Mm -hmm.